What what's in the cup? Coffee. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we've got everything test fit and everything works. And so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lay, take all this off of there. We're gonna lay the barrel on its side and then we'll start laying out the holes for the rest of the barrel. We're gonna look and find the center between those two holes. You line your legs up with it. You can kind of guess it and follow, find your center line and just mark it. Just kind of get it adjusted right if you got a good eye and just toot toot. If you don't wanna do that, then you can just take one of these flexi tape measures like this. These are kind of cool. Hook the corner of that, come over here and look through the middle. So 18 and 3 quarters divided by 2, 9 and 3 eighths, right? It's going to work. 19 and 3 eighths, right? And we take a T-square. We're just going to lay it on the bottom of the barrel. So now you can just like line it like that. Now I want to make a mark here, first of all. Now I want to carry that mark up here to the top. And that will perfectly straight. Now when we're ready to mount things together, uh, our hinge specifically, we just line this mark up with that mark, and our lid is straight. While you got it there, flip it up this way and make that mark over here too. And we know that's the center of our hinge. All right, so now we're going to take our handy dandy template. So what I do recommend is if you take a, a pencil or something and just poke right in the dead center of that, just poke it and ball it just a little bit. Anyway, just poke it and do like that because we just need a place for our marker to get started, you know. If you poke a hole in it like that, it'll be dead center every time. Poke it on this. See the center line on the there's that, look at that. Now we can flip this over. On the top, we've got this thing here. It says this end up for cooking rack mounts. But so really what we're gonna do, we got our center hole mark right here, center line. I'm gonna mark these two holes here. And I hold a finger here as I roll to keep the template from sliding. That's it. So we're ready to drill. Safety glasses, get serious here. There you go. The thermometer has a seven eighths Currently, we use these river country ones. Been using them a long time. You can use Teltree or whatever brand you want. It's got a machine thread on it that's like half inch pipe thread. And it's got this amazing lock ring and this really big fender washer on it. The size of this outside diameter of these threads is 7 eighths of an inch. Don't over drill it if you can help it. So we're gonna progressively drill this until we get down to the you can read it there, it says seven eighths. Set that on there like that. You know, we gotta go just a little bit bigger. There you go. So, what I like to do, put my handles. I like to have the center of this handle right over the top of that hole. 
So there's several different ways you can do this. You can use a T-square like we did earlier. You know, that's kind of cheating, but you can do that. You can actually measure from the center mark like we did in our other video with a piece of string, or you can just eyeball it. In this case, I'm pretty good with my eyeballs. I'm going to eyeball it. So I'll use that one. I'll bump this up against it to get my, to get my, my piece squared. back yeah we got to test fit everything put here so last time we were here of course it's been it's been a week we uh already fit our lid parts on i had to wash it off a minute ago because i spilt something on it and uh anyway so we we drilled all our holes and everything and we're in the next little stages there we just want to test fit our parts, All right? So we're just going to stick these on there, test fit our bolts. We got bolts in here. Because once you paint, it's not easy to drill them out, you know? Three for three. Oh, you got to drill one out. So look here, what will happen is you'll have one that your drill bit walks or something like that. So you just need to just waller that hole out a little bit, right? Boom, all four bolts are in and it fits. So we're good to go. Now I do recommend don't use this one to, to mark the other side because we just drilled and this hole's oiled out a little bit now probably. You can't hardly tell by eye, but it's probably a little out. So we're gonna use the other one. Oh, sometimes you gotta waller this out too. It's cut a little bit too close. Well, our laser guy, that is. So just drill them from the backside and keep your hand out from underneath of the hole. Just like that. Put that on there. That one there is going to have, there's always one, it seems. Boom. We're good to go. Now we're going to test our handles. I'm actually going to bolt them down because sometimes the radius ain't quite enough. I'm going to stick these nuts on from the bottom. Now if our bolt holes all line up, Got the wall or that one out just a hair. Boom. The other handle. Put this one in there. Yeah, if there's ever any modifications that need to be done, now's the time to do them. Okay, that one there needs to be. Boom. Good to go. Now we gotta go look for paint. <laughs> 